hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem x to the power of 3 minus x equals 24 okay so this means we have x to the power of 3 minus x minus 24 equals 0 Okay, what I did is to move 24 to the left and it becomes negative 24. Now, the next thing is we want to factorize. But as it is now, we may not be able to factorize this unless we introduce um, other terms. Okay, so as a matter of fact, this minus x, minus x here, I want to use it as minus 9x plus 8x now I brought this out because I know that this 8x here or this 8x and um, 24 they have something in common and we can break it down to look like what we would be having when we factorize x over 3 and minus 9x now let's go back there so we have from um, in place of x over 3 it comes down then minus here now we have 9x then plus here we have 8x then I have minus 24 this is equal to 0 now what do we do we can now group into 2 and factorize this is what I was saying if you factorize 8x minus 2 4 and then it's um, x to the power of 3 minus 9x we're going to have something that can be likened to each other right now what is common to this is x here we, we now have x squared minus 9 close this plus what is common to this is um 8 then we open the bracket x is here minus 8 into 24 is 3 so we now close this. I was talking about um, liking this and this together, right? Okay. Um, here now we can still break this down so that we have this in difference of two squares form. So we have x into bracket x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2. This is the same thing there in the bracket plus 8 into bracket x minus 3 and this is equal to 0 now what can we do express this in um, express this as difference of two squares so we now have x into x minus 3 into x plus 3 okay then we have plus 8 into x minus 3 and then everything is equal to zero. Now, what do I do from here? I don't have to open this bracket. What I would do is to factor out what is common to this and this. So, x minus three is common. It comes out. Here we have, we have um, this x left. So we write our x, then open bracket, we have this x plus three then plus here the whole of this is out remaining eight then we close this and equate to zero now what do we do x minus three is a common factor then open this bracket so we have from um, x squared plus three x then we have plus eight equals zero now since we are to solve this completely it means that we should get both real and um, complex solutions right now apply your zero product rule zero product rule meaning that it is either x minus three is equal to zero or x squared plus three x plus eight is equal to zero now x is equal to zero plus three 
or x is equal to 3. So this becomes the first solution to the problem. And then to get the other solutions, you will go straight to this quadratic equation, x squared plus 3x plus 8 equals 0. Now, this is difficult for us to factorize. So what do we do? We apply the formula method. According to the formula, x will be equal to minus b plus or minus. And we have square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, if you do not know how to get your abc in the formula, please hold on and learn. Now, our x will be equal to b is 3. That is the coefficient of x squared. So, we'll write minus 3 in place of minus b. Plus or minus, then we have this, b squared. b squared will be 3 squared minus 4 multiplied by a. a is the coefficient of x squared. And that is 1. So, I write 1 multiplied by c. C is the constant, which is 8. So we'll write 8 over here. And the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Because, because A is 1. Now, our X will be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 32. Because 4 times 1 times 8 is 32. And this will be over 2. Now, let's continue. Now, x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus 9 minus 32 is minus 27. Minus 27. And the whole of this will be over 2. Now, what do we do? Let's continue so that our x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 27 is i root 27. So by this, the negative here has come out and it came out in the form of i, which is imaginary. And then we have this over 2. So let's have this as our second value of x. But then this is a 2 in 1 solution right now let's get the complete solution together x i'll call this x1 equal to 3 right then um my x2 will be equal to minus 3 plus i root 27 and this is over 2 this becomes the, um, the second value of x. Then x3 will be equal to minus 3. Minus 3. Then we have minus i root 27 over 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.